I find that some of these uh, products and tools that are coming up are more than redefining the design process. They're actually rev revolutionizing the, the whole entire process of design. I call them very intelligent collaborators. Our relationship with our tools throughout the years have been a sort of a mono-dimensional and mono-directional one where we would instruct the tool to do something and it would do it. The new tools and new technologies, they collect information about our preferences about our intentions. They come back to you and say that, I have done what you've asked me to do, but would you like me to show you more? Because I've done more. Let me say yes. And it says, okay, I've done your 10 options. I've got about another 800. It is that that actually re changes the relationship between us and them. They're no longer tools. They also help us see whatever it is that we see somewhat more clearly. Ideas that we've developed over the years in, on, on, on practical projects, and we call that our mother tongue. But in communicating with others, you have to develop that second language. We all have to be bilingual. These tools, innovations in our design facilities and a design approach, allows us to have a platform into which we all put our um, input uh, uh, in areas of competence, and then they get all together and they help us with that coordination and the end result is much more seamless. Fusion engineering is, is a term that we um, coined about 10 years ago. In the background, you had poor design, but cheap, less cost. At the other end of that spectrum, you had intelligent designs, but it would cost more. Through rigorous analysis, through uh, bringing the value of design into our into our structures, we found that it actually they actually cost less. It's got less material in it, so it costs less. It's got less carbon footprint, and it is more congruent with the, with the architectural design intent. So you could have good design and less cost. So we said that actually we have fused the two these two ends of the spectrum together. Hence the word fusion engineering.